at this point, what we can do is we can go in and we can apply the different wall type or roof types to the surfaces of the mass. So from the architecture tab, I can go to wall and I can pick wall by face. This will allow me to add walls to the different faces. And just like anything else, I can go in and I can pick the type I want to use. So I'll pick brick on CMU or brick on metal stud. And I can set the location line based on the mass. And that's what's going to determine where it sits relative to the mass. So notice it's sitting on the inside of that face. And so if I add it to all these sides, I now have a brick element. And I can do the same thing with roof. So if I go to architecture, roof by face, I can actually pick the top surface and create the roof. With the roof, if I wanted to, I could actually drop this elevation, which will drop the roof to the desired elevation. Now I'm going to add the walls. So I can use wall by face again. And I can go in and I can say, make some of these solid and some of these glass. And so I'm going to use the generic 8 inch wall type for this one. So I'm not really sure what the material needs to be. And I can place it here, say in this location, around the building. just to give myself some, some walls to work with here. And this will start to give us a good idea of what the building's going to look like. So looking at it, I can see that there's a change that I'd like to make. And that's not a problem. I can select the mass and say Edit in Place. And now we're back into the Mass Editing options, where I could say Pick one of these faces and modify it so that there's a little bit of a setback here. And here as well. And I'll do the same thing on this side. Once I'm done with the editing, I can finish mass. And we can do the same thing we were doing before. So I'll go back to architecture, wall by face. This time I'm going to use the exterior glazing option. And then I could put on these faces a curtain wall. And the last step here is going to be to add the last pieces of the roof. And I like to do these as separate elements so that they're easier to modify. So just like the other one, I'll set this down so that we have our roof down below the parapet here. And then on this one, I'll just put it right on top. And now we have our conceptual building.